just here with uh, Roma, my uh, retired greyhound. Um, we're heading off to work this morning. Uh, you probably can't see it too well, it's quite dark. Um, nice and early, it's, uh, it's 6.58 a.m. So we're on the way. Um, so yeah, get going. Show you some more. Arrived at HQ this morning, just settling in. Uh, making a coffee and uh, Roma's just uh, sniffing out the place, seeing what she likes and what she doesn't like. Just, uh, she's only visited this HQ a couple of times. Uh, we just moved in here, so um, you guys might have already seen, moved in here in Brunswick East. Um, really enjoying the new space. Roma's just uh, stealing something out of the box there. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you updated on Robbie and Roma. So she's six years old, had her for a few months now. Um, settling in really well. Um, yeah, she's an absolute doll. <laughs> she's, a, she's a people pleaser. Um, yeah, it's been really, it's been really good just to see her kind of um, settle in after I don't think she's, she had a really ideal start to life. Um, so yeah, that's Roma. <laughs> So tomorrow we're announcing Fluoro Orange. It's the newest colorway in our Sports Lux collection and is so fire. Look how pretty it is. So we're dropping 150 of these on the 31st of July. Where are we off to? Take a moment for a walk. Get out and about. Out and about. Yeah, so I always thought greyhounds were quite like scary. Like not scary, but I yeah, thought they were they a just bit. Look yeah. Uh, so I think, yeah, um, a lot of people think that greyhounds are sort of aggressive. Uh, it's certainly not the case, they're actually the polar opposite. Um, and I think that's kind of, kind of why they make such great pets. Um, so we live in an apartment, they're really good apartment dogs, they do nothing all day long. Um, so I think they, they sleep about 16 hours. 16 hours? Day. It's sleepy, Roma. Jeez. So she's a, she's a gentle giant. Yeah. Um, and I think that's kind of, I don't know, I think that's kind of, I'm out of the racing industry. Um, you know, obviously, some dogs are not treated great, um, and they can be aggressive in that situation.
This is season ending injury. <laughs> You're right there, Robbie. Oh, maybe that's. So, Roma being an ex-racing greyhound, um, she, all the greyhounds have their, like their racing numbers printed on their ear. So you can see she's still, you can see that. Just printed in there. Yeah, so she was, she was not a very good racer. She only won one race. Um, but she's a sweetheart, so I think it makes up for it. Um, but yeah, it's been really pleasing to give her a really good home. She gets spoiled. Um, doesn't necessarily make up for what she had to go through, but I think she's living a comfortable life now. Just enjoying herself. She looks comfortable. She's very comfortable. <laughs> so box fire. So it's this year? No, no, it wouldn't have been this year. What was it? March 2015. Oh. Box 5. Yeah. The yellow one. Go right back. Go right Two lengths back, cool while those second last is open on the place, and a bad last he's all black. A race of two at the moment, Dr. Nibby and Gunmore Lever, the reserve. Go right back. Smash. Go. Look at that. She's flying. Oh my god. So there she goes from, from that. To that. <laughs> she matches your outfit. Look at her. <laughs> You know how they say dogs look like their owners? That is legit you right now. <laughs> Twinning. I say get some fluoro orange shoes. She does need fluoro orange shoes. Get you some shoes. Yeah, she looks like she wants them. Finished up with Roma today. She's uh, spent 99% of the day sleeping, <laughs> but she's got a fresh new coat on now. Nice and warm, it's freezing outside. It is raining. And uh, yeah, that's all from Robbie and Roma.